Oh my gosh. What a mess. That is the rat's nest of cords underneath there. Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna be talking through some of the upgrades I'm doing in this room right here. So this has been our office for probably the last five, six years. We've kind of kept it the same. I mean, it did some upgrades over here that I have in another video, but um, mainly this area right here where um, there were a couple desks has remained unchanged. So this desk over here is kind of the makeshift Ikea desk that a lot of people do. I think this is the Girton countertop. We had two of these here, trusses on each side, and then this file cabinet was kind of holding it up. And it worked pretty well for a long time. And so this space was used to game, to create, to write a lot of code, as well as record a lot of my YouTube videos. While it offers some flexibility, not as much as I'd like it to. This has been a combination of my creative space, my work from home space, as well as my gaming space. And so since many of us are stuck working from home for the foreseeable future, I figured it was a good time to make some of these upgrades to the desk. So a couple of things I wanted to accomplish with this desk upgrade. One is converting it to a sit stand desk. Now, I like this wood countertop. It works great. I'm a huge fan of it. I get a lot of surface area, but I wanted to kind of pull a lot of the things that are on there off there. And the next thing I wanted to accomplish was um, figuring out what to do with the monitors. I've had these monitors for a really long time. I've had this Lenovo monitor for probably five or six years and the Samsung monitor even longer. And they're both 1080p and they work great for gaming and recording videos, but I wanted to kind of upgrade to a 1440p monitor. Along with the monitor upgrade, I also wanted to figure out how to position them. The two are on arms right now. Um, I plan to stick with the arms because it offers a lot of flexibility, especially when you go to stand. Putting these monitors on these arms allows me to be a little more flexible with them. And another thing I'll have to figure out is my PC. Like I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that now. It's been on the desk and that's been fine. Um, but if I move to a standing desk, I'm not sure if it's gonna be up there. The standing desk says it should be able to um, hold around 250 pounds, but still I don't like the idea of having three monitors plus keyboard plus all of my other accessories plus my PC up there and raising the desk up and down. Um, if I have no other choice, I'll do it, but uh, I need to figure out some kind of alternative. So another thing I mentioned earlier was work from home. So I do work from home. I think a lot of people are working from home right now. Um, and I do use a Mac, so I'm a software developer. I use a Mac for work. I use a Mac for other things too. Um, being able to connect my Mac to these monitors and, and kind of fit it into this uh, configuration too is gonna be really important to me. So as I put this all together, I need to figure out where my Mac goes, how it connects, and how I can get it connected to my monitors in a better way than it's connected now. And last but not least is cable management. Now, I'm not the greatest at cable management, um, but I would like for my cables to be tucked away or zip tied up as much as they can. So hopefully from this, I can figure out, you know, a nice, clean way to run all of these cables, but we'll see. I've already started to take apart one desk because I upgraded my wife's desk to a sit-stand desk and moved her into another room. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one, so it's super messy. Um, this isn't usually how it is. Um, I mean, it's pretty close, but not exactly like this. Um, but you see wires and stuff everywhere. But hopefully after this, it'll be a little bit cleaner and a little bit nicer. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of all of this stuff so that we can attach the legs uh, to this table.
Okay, so now that that's all cleaned up, it's time to unbox these legs I have and attach them to this desktop. So let me grab the legs. Okay, so these are the oh, heavy, heavy, heavy duty. So these are the Rise Up Adjustable Height Standing Desk Legs. Um, it has dual motors, has memory, has adjustable width. Um, it is from Uncaged Ergonomics. Um, I found them on Amazon. I'll probably have a link in the description below. Um, but the cool thing about these are that you can attach these to, to any desktop like I'm about to do. Um, and that was really appealing to me because it means that in the future, um, I can keep these legs and I can get a new tabletop desktop, um, one that suits my needs a little bit better. So let's open this up and take a look at it. Okay, so it looks like we have some instructions. Looks like this is the center bar. Looks like this is the outer bars. Oh, nice. So it looks like these are the legs and they're already attached. The feet are. Another set of feet. Oh, these are heavy. Whoa. This looks like one of the legs. So pretty heavy with a motor inside of it. This looks like the controller that uh, drives both of the legs or the motors. Oh, these are heavy. These are no joke. These are heavy duty. So here's another one of the legs uh, with the motor inside, you can see. So pretty awesome. The power cable, uh, the controller to attach the desk, and a bunch of hardware. So it's like all it came with, but it's all we need. So I'm gonna follow the instructions, put this together. Um, looks pretty straightforward. Let's set this one up and get her stood up. Oh, one thing I didn't mention is that. I have this wire basket here already. So this is pretty cool. This came from Ikea. We did buy wire baskets for this. So that's gonna help with cable management for sure. It's pretty nice when they do this. You can't lose any. It's pretty awesome. Oh, one thing I noticed too is that you can unscrew these feet. I don't know if they're toes, if these are the feet or these are the toes, but uh, either way, you can unscrew these um, to balance the desk. But I also noticed that these are the same holes, it looks like, for casters. So I guess you could attach casters if you wanted to this, which would be kind of cool. If you had a cement floor or you need to kind of roll stuff around. Uh, I don't, I'd probably just lock them in place, but it's a good option.
Okay, uh, now we're gonna attach these little rubber pads. Um, I think these are to protect the desktop, maybe. I don't know, it's there underneath, but, uh, uh, but definitely to stop it from bumping against the metal. Uh, maybe when you work, but just a little bit of cushion. Okay, yeah, it looks like we flip it back over now and kind of line it up and get ready to attach it to uh, the table. Also, you should probably do this with two people. This thing is super heavy, so um, I don't know. I have a wide grip, I'm not that muscular. I'm actually pretty wimpy, but um, I'm able to turn it over, but you probably need help here. So now we're actually going to open this up and make it in as wide as we want and uh, try to get in the right place to, for the final attachment. Okay, so once you got it in place, um, we're going to attach it with wood screws. There's these self-tapping wood screws that come with it. but. Um, uh, you can see I was kind of careful as I was doing that. Um, you just want to make sure that um, it's lined up the way it should be uh, because after you screw it in, um, it's going to make holes in your desk. But one thing you want to be sure of too is that uh, those little rubber gasket grommet things, you want to make sure that they're um, in place. You saw that they might have rolled around. Um, that's the hardest part is just making sure that those stay in there uh, and stay attached. So let's drill this in. Okay, so now we're gonna attach uh, this controller. It can kind of go in the center and go wherever you want. Um, you'll just have to screw it down. There's some other screws down here too. It doesn't really matter where you put it, just I'm gonna kind of center it and make sure all the cables can get to there. Okay, so here is the controller that's gonna attach. There's probably a better name for it, but um, you have up, down. Um, you also have some presets, one, two, three, four. Um, and then you'll have an LCD panel right here that tells you the height of the desk. So let's attach this. Um, one thing I learned last night when I was doing this was that um, when you flip it over, it's gonna be on the opposite side. I know that seems super obvious, but for me, I was just thinking like, oh, I'm gonna flip it over and it'll be in the right place. but. <laughs> So I'm actually gonna attach it way over here. So if you're looking at it, it's on the far right, so that when I flip it over, it's on the far left. Um, because that side's against the wall and because I, you know, I move and I get up and I go to the right, I wanna put it on the left so that it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, and I don't accidentally bump it with anything. I'm gonna keep it flush with the desk too, so it looks really nice and clean. Oh, so I also mentioned that they give some wire management. So they give these little um, wire cable graphs things. Uh, it says 3M on there. We'll see if it's 3M and we'll see if it sticks. Um, but I'm going to attach this to the desk uh, and then tidy up these cables. I'm not going to use a ton of these yet. Um, I'm probably only going to use one. I'm going to use one just to, to manage and wrangle all of these wires. Um, primarily because I don't know where the rest of my wires are going to go and I found that uh, I can tuck most of the wires in here um, into one and save these for um, my other wires. So let's attach this one. So next, all we need to do now is just flip this over. So I haven't had any help up until now. It's been pretty manageable, but this piece, you're really gonna need someone uh, to help you flip it over. So. Let me see if my wife's busy. This is gonna end up going over here. Okay. So we're gonna have to jump, buddy. Yeah. So I think we need to swivel this around. Okay. So swing it around. Can yeah. Okay. 
so we can reset it down. Two toes. Yep, thank you. Okay, so we got her flipped over and uh, all we need to do now is plug it in and hopefully it works. I didn't test it before. That probably would have been a good idea, but pretty sure it's gonna work. Okay, so this happened to me last night too on another one. So. If it doesn't do anything right away, don't worry. I think it needs to be factory reset or recalibrated. Um, I'm not sure the term they use. I think it's reset, but um, I think it needs to be calibrated too because it needs to figure out how far down it can go. Um, and I figured out that if you just hold up and down at the same time till it beeps. There it goes. And you'll see it go down and you'll hear a beep. Um, then it should work. Look at that. And so this goes pretty high, which is good for me. I'm super tall. Um, so now I can raise this up. It says 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 50, 51.6. And you can't even see that. Okay, so this is a good height. Uh, looks like a good height for me. Let's kind of move it up. Let's check it out. So I think they say you want it to be, you know, kind of parallel um, so that your arms are relaxed. So this, this looks pretty good for me. Okay, so desk is up and I think I accomplished my first goal, putting this desk together and getting it working. So it's working okay. Uh, the next goal or next thing I, I talked about doing was upgrading my monitors. Now, like I said, I had these older Lenovo monitors and the Samsung and they were kind of mismatched and I had them up on arms, um, but I decided to kind of upgrade them a little bit. So I picked up, yeah, Don't drop it. This monitor, the BenQ, 27 inch 1440p. Um, I think this is gonna be a pretty good upgrade from the five or six year old monitors I had. Um, it's, it's a super nice monitor. Um, I've heard lots of good reviews. Um, it's 27 inch, so that's super nice. Um, but remember how I had a couple of arms? Well, I bought one more arm and I bought a couple more monitors. Yeah, picked up three. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how this goes. I know that um, these are super good for gaming and um, they have a super high uh, refresh rate. They go up to 1440p, uh, good resolution, uh, not 4K, I don't want 4K. Uh, so this seems to be the sweet spot. Um, hopefully I can drive all three, but before we do that, um, I'll need to attach my arms. Okay, so 
Got everything hooked up, got the wires going, uh, did a little bit of cable management, but really it's all gonna really take place once I get all my peripherals hooked up. And again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this configuration with three, a landscape, I might go two portrait, one landscape, but I'll figure that out later. Um, another one of my challenges, if you remember from the beginning that I mentioned was, where am I gonna put my PC? So can't put it on the ground. I didn't really wanna put it up here. I kinda wanted to get my PC off the desk. It was there before, it was kinda nice to look at, but I'm done looking at it. I know what it looks like. My options are, one, the file cabinet that was there, which could be okay. But two, I introduced to you another option. So the other option is this, this bar cart. <laughs> Funny story about this bar cart, we actually ordered uh, a different cart from Target and Target accidentally shipped us this. And we were like, oh, that's kind of nice. You know, we didn't order that. And you know what? They said, keep it, we'll ship another one. So thank you, Target, that was awesome. Um, so I thought maybe I could use this as my PC stand or shelf. It's probably the most pretentious PC shelf that anyone's ever had. Um, but I think it kind of goes right in with all of the other things I got going on. So this whole entire room is kind of a mid-century type modern uh, style. And I think this fits right in. And the nice part about this is it's gonna raise my PC up higher so I can get to all these cables. So let's see if it works out. Oh. So. Here it is. It fits on here pretty nice. I mean, you can't see the window, which that's okay. The cool thing is, um, if you wanted to see the window, I could turn it this way. And put it back here. Actually, I kind of like that a little bit more now that I see it. Uh, the nice part is, if I do put it this way, uh, all of my video card ports are pointing that way, so then I can connect all my monitors. So yeah, now that I do that, I kind of like it. Um, I do need to make sure that when this comes down, it doesn't destroy this handle. So I might just turn it that way just to be sure. And there we go. I think that looks okay. So let's, let's hook it up. Okay, so it looks like I accomplished everything I set out to do. So the first thing I wanted to do was upgrade this desk. And so I attached the legs and I'm able to lift the desk up and put it back down. The next thing I wanted to do was upgrade these monitors. And these monitors actually turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the speaker being on there, but these are great 1440p monitors by BenQ and I don't think I could find a better monitor for the price. The third thing I wanted to do was figure out what to do with the PC over there. I didn't want it on my desk anymore and so I was pretty fortunate that Target made a mistake and then told me to keep that cart. So it worked out pretty good. I'm happy for now. And the fourth thing I want to do was cable management. I think the cable management turned out okay. I mean there are a lot of wires up here and there's a lot of wires down there but they're all hidden by that little basket I was telling you that's attached underneath the desk. So that basket really helped out. Without that basket, uh, wires would have been everywhere or I would have had to use tons and tons of zip ties. I actually have a few hubs in there as well as uh, a couple of power strips and big, huge wall boards all hidden in there. So it's working out pretty good. And the last thing I wanted to do was get my Mac hooked up and be able to work from home. 
Um, it does work pretty good. I kind of have the HDMI cables just strung across the back because I'm really not sure what I want to do yet. Uh, my MacBook Pro has USB-C only, and then I have to use dongles to connect to HDMI. So yeah, I have dongles that are connected to dongles, and I guess that's how you know you have the latest MacBook if your dongles have dongles. Well, my dongles have lots of dongles, and they are connected and going all over the place. So I want to figure out something better with you know, my MacBook situation. But for now, I have a couple of USB-C hubs with HDMI plugged in, and those go into the HDMI on the monitors. So that works out pretty good. So overall, I'm super happy with the way it turned out. It turned out pretty good. If you're interested in converting a, a tabletop that you have, maybe you have a nice piece of wood or a countertop you wanna use and you just need some legs, I'll have links in the description below where you can check these out. I also have a lot of links in the description below of a lot of the different peripherals that I used, uh, as well as some of the cables that I use, as well as these monitors. It's a super good deal. I know there are quite a few reviews on YouTube about the, this BenQ monitor, but I didn't want to go too much into detail about them. I mean, you already know they're good. It's a great deal. So I'll just throw some links below, and if you want to check them out, you can check them out. So I'm kind of done with this upgrade for now. There are a few more things I'd like to do, but it's more just tidying up. If there's something I missed or something you think I should have upgraded or something you like about this setup or don't like, let me know in the comment section below. And again, thank you so much for watching. I know this is a little bit different from what I usually do, but I really appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel and give it a thumbs up. And as always, stream on my friends.